Tash from PI Podcast here, and today I'm going to be talking about a little bit out some breaking news that happened and diving into that team as well. Um, so the Raiders have officially signed Hunter Renfro to a multi year contract. Um, in the article, it doesn't state any of the how much he was signed for or how many years, but it's a multi year contract extension, which is well deserved from a wide receiver that has gone underrated for a while and really broke out last season um with Derek Carr. And that offense in particular um has been very, very solid under Derek Carr. Um yes, they beat the short last Los Angeles Chargers to get into the playoffs last year. So that was a very fun game to watch, a very back and forth game. So it was an amazing game to see. And it just it just shows that Derek Carr and Hunter Renfro have that connection. Um, and now Derek Carr has Devontae Adams with him. Um, before we dive into Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro has been that guy for them. Has been a has been a solid solid slot receiver for them. Has has been um just a phenomenal receiver. So many touchdowns this year, broke out this year. Um, when they needed him to, because Darren Waller got injured a little bit, but Darren Waller is still the beast he is. So now Derek Carr has even more weapons with Darren Waller. Hunter Renfro and now Devontae Adams, and he still has Josh Jacobs still there, who I think is a good running back still. And Hunter Renfro, he's doing all these things with route running. Um, if you guys saw the brief play footage of some of his route running, some of his touchdowns, some of his catches, his route running so crisp, he makes defenders skate on their toes, literally. It's so awesome to see. I saw him on a zig route um, going in and back, and he did it so precise that he made the defender fool himself. His, it's crazy to see his footwork is off the charts. Um, it's just crazy to see off of a guy you wouldn't expect to have that kind of season, and he did. Um, so going over to this Raiders offense now, um, with Derek Carr, with Devontae Adams now, I think it's going to provide way more opportunities for Hunter Renfro because now teams are going to decide whether they want to double-team Darren Waller or double-team Devontae Adams, which they will double-team Devontae Adams. So it leaves Hunter Renfro more room to work with on one-on-ones. And when his route running already off the charts, then it provides Hunter Renfro an even better chance of getting more yards, getting more receptions, getting more touchdowns. Um, so that offense is it's going to be off the charts with them. Um, and Derek Carr is a solid quarterback, too. Um, I think he's really good. He's in a tough division. But I still think he can lead that offense with Devontae Adams now. I think that offense is going to be really good. I think Derek Carr can lead him. To, uh, to be able to have a chance in the playoffs. Because that division is going to be crazy. The AFC West. And it's going to be down to the wire. How good that AFC West conference. AFC West division. Is going to be. That division in particular. Is so hard. We talked about it on our podcast. Definitely go check our podcast out. And yeah. That division is just going to be the most fun. The hardest division in football for sure. Um, You got the Chargers. The Raiders. The Broncos. Um, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, and Chiefs. Definitely a lot of great quarterbacks there. Um, Derek Carr uh, is a solid quarterback, and I think this offense is going to really help him out. But they did also sign on defense Chandler Jones. And Chandler Jones, he was getting sacks last year for the Arizona Cardinals. He's been a big pass rusher for them. Been getting uh, sports pressures. Uh, maybe not seeing the sack rate he um, people expect, him, expect to see, but he got the pressure rates, um, which meaning which means that um, he was pressuring the quarterback at a higher percentage. Um, so definitely Chandler Jones is going to be a monster, especially with Max Crosby, who was single-handedly one of the best pass rushers in the league last year. Um, his his pressure rate's off the chart. Like He was the best pass rusher by pressure rate last year, and it's just crazy. Um, he's a dominant pass rusher. Even if you double-team him, he's going to get past it. Um, definitely going to be hard to overlook Chandler Jones and Max Crosby on the same side. Who are you going to double team? You could double team both. So that leaves whoever they have on the other edge. Um, and definitely, definitely, it's going to be it's going to be tough for them. It's going to be tough for whoever goes against them as well. Um, they have Vernon Butler on the D line. Um, Max Crosby, Denzel Perryman, Chandler Jones, Jonathan Abram, who's decent. Um, so they have a decent defense. Look with them. That's the only thing I. I'm worried about about the Raiders is their defense. How are they going to mesh together? I think Chandler Jones, Max Crosby on the line is going to help immensely. 
Um, and I think the addition of Demonte Adams will help that Raiders offense tremendously, tremendously as well. Um, they're still getting the job done with Derek Carr and without Devontae Adams. So I expect him to take a step in their offense as well because Josh Jacobs, who I haven't talked about much yet, um, he definitely is still a solid running back. He can cut the holes. He can truck people. He can do it all. Um, so definitely um, they have the running game if they need it. And they have the they have the passing game with Devontae Adams, arguably the best wide receiver in the in, in the game. And they have Hunter Renfro and they have Darren Waller, who's one of the best tight ends in the league as well. So definitely a plethora of weapons for Derek Carr to use. And on defense they have good pass rushers, they have good linebackers, they have decent safety, so definitely have a chance of competing at AFC West. Um if you guys are Raiders fans, let me know in the down comment section below. You leave a like, subscribe. We talk about every single off of team. So if you guys want me to talk about a specific team in general, I didn't go over too much of the Raiders. Uh, if you want me to do an in-depth video of the Raiders, let me know. I will definitely do that. But anyways, guys, just wanted to provide that a little bit uh, for our upload today. So definitely thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, podcast out. Thank you for watching the PI Podcast. Make sure you subscribe and tune in next time so you don't miss the latest news in the NFL world. You can also follow us on TikTok at PI Podcast and on Twitter at PI Podcasters. Until next time.